Today's Midday Kentucky Cooking segment brought to you by Creative Kitchen and Bath, where you will always cook in style. Welcome back to Midday Kentucky. Chef Allison Davis here in the Wild Time Kitchen, and we are cooking up some soup today. I am focusing on some heart healthy recipes. As you know, February is American Heart Association Month, and so I really wanted to highlight some dishes that were heart healthy, and this is something that you can certainly focus in on all year long, but uh, I wanted to highlight some key items and key foods that really, you know, are something that maybe you're not used to using or that you could incorporate a little bit further into your everyday routine or weekly routine. So what I'm working on today is a lentil soup. So I'm going to be using um, red or you could also use green lentils. And lentils are a great uh, source of fiber. B vitamins and antioxidants. So these are going to be really great um, all around. We all have heard that old saying, and I'm, I think of my dad every time I cook like bean soup or lentil soup because he makes that joke, you know, how beans are good for your heart. And if you don't know the rest of it, you'll just live in under a rock. <laughs> but um, I'm going to keep working this soup. And to start out with this, we have uh, started with some bacon in the pan. And bacon makes everything better, but if you're trying to lower that cholesterol, you could certainly start with just a little bit of olive oil or perhaps bacon, or olive oil or perhaps butter. Um, in this case, I started with just a little bit of bacon, and then I took some onions and added some onions into this just to saute. And then we're going to add just the classic mirepoix, which, if you don't know, is just um, a French term for your kind of base for your soups, which is 50% onions, 25% celery, and then 25% carrots. So I'm just going to take some celery and just kind of dice that up, small dice, and then uh, add some carrots to this as well. And then just start sweating those vegetables. What this does is this just gives a nice overall balance of flavor and just um, helps to create... Um, just some depth in your soup. It's a great starting point for practically any soup, cauliflower soup, uh, you know, tomato soup. Just there's a lot of different ways that you could take this. I'm just going to take these uh, carrots and just kind of give them a nice rough chop. I had these already in the fridge. So, you know, this is a great way to also just use up some of the vegetables that you've got hanging around in the fridge. If you had some peppers, you could certainly add that into this. Mushrooms. I mean, there's a lot of different things that you could add to this. But mirepoix, carrots, celery, and onions is always a great starting point. I'm going to mince up a little bit of garlic. Um, garlic also is really great for cardiovascular health as well. Um, it's always encouraged that during the week or during the month you try to incorporate a little bit of raw garlic, but certainly if you can just get some of that into your soup and into your everyday diet, that's going to um, benefit you as well. So a little bit of this minced garlic here going in. And then we'll start to add in our lentils, and this is going to be used with some chicken broth. And um, you could also use vegetable broth if you wanted. So I'm going to get our lentils going in here and then just give that a nice little stir. All right, lots of beautiful colors, lots of nice flavors working. And then as far as like aromatics, when I say aromatics, I start to think of just fresh herbs. I'm going to just throw in some fresh thyme sprigs. And I throw them in whole. That's very uh, French. And then we'll just pull the sprigs out as um, the soup is finished. And we're going to add a little bit of red pepper flake. Of course, we're going to add salt and pepper to this as well. Everything is always seasoned with a bit of salt and pepper. And one other uh, key spice that I like to use for health is um, and health and wellness is turmeric. If you're not using turmeric, just start using it in everything. It really doesn't change the flavor, but the medicinal benefits and the health benefits of turmeric is outstanding. Um, I'm going to give you guys this recipe. We're going to wrap it up, uh, but I have one that's finished here that you can see how beautiful that turmeric gave this lovely color. The lentils are nice and cooked, the chicken broth, and then we also added a little bit of tomatoes just for a bit of... Um, more sweet and savory. All right, well, you guys know where to find this recipe. You can go to middaykentucky.com forward slash recipes tab and you'll find this and many others. I'm Chef Allison Davis. We'll be right back after this short break.